people fleeing from Sudan into Chad have reported a new surge in ethnically driven killings in West Darfur. This as the paramilitary rapid support forces took over the main army base in the state capital. CGTN's Joy Kirukijuma has the details. The conflict in Sudan has continued to grow in scope and brutality. Those fleeing from West Darfur are forced to cross into Chad. Refugees say the Masalit ethnic group were targeted in the latest killings in Ardamata, a district in the state capital of El Janaina. Our people there in Ardamata were killed and displaced. Children are slaughtered, women's money and belongings are robbed, and they can't escape. They told me that my brother was killed, and we do not know where he is. I, my mother, and my sister's children came to Chad. We don't know where my father is. We couldn't find him. They burned everything and took everything. We did not bring anything with us, only God and our clothes. <laughs> Those fleeing say militias and members of the Rapid Support Forces are behind the ethnically driven killings. The RSF did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Previously, though, it has denied involvement in what it calls a tribal conflict. In public comments, Arab tribal leaders had also denied targeting the non-Arab Masalit group in El Janaina. We came on foot and they arrested us on the street and imprisoned us for three days. After three days, they released us and we came here. Chad border guards say the daily number of those fleeing from West Darfur has surged. On Saturday alone, they recorded over 3,000 arrivals. UN officials in Chad said thousands more were expected to cross but had been prevented from doing so by RSF forces demanding money. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN. The influx of refugees and returnees who are continuing to arrive in Chad is putting a massive strain on already stretched support services. UN agencies say Chad is currently hosting half a million people who fled the conflict in Sudan. Earlier, UN officials had sounded the alarm in August about rising community hostility in Chad, resulting from the pressure on resources. Chad today faces multiple challenges and a humanitarian emergency. Instability, violence in neighboring countries, and the disproportionate impact of a climate crisis, not of its own making, not to mention socioeconomic and other development challenges. Despite being one of the poorest countries in the world, Chad now hosts more than a million refugees including newly some half a million who fled the conflict in Sudan over the past six months, most women and children. 